Okay, here we have the, my version of a bungee. Now, okay, that's the, the bungee there, which would obviously be laid out to 28 paces from the uh, trigger point. 28 paces, it, it's, I worked that out by um, actually uh, um, by a tension meter and counting the number of paces to actually lay it out. So it's a um, eight millimeter uh, bungee cord doubled. It's 10 meters doubled to five and then we got a load of uh, uh, two or three millimeter light line. And it comes back at the point here, it splits. I've got a weight on it to hold the line at the moment. So it splits here. So uh, it's a two line system. So the bottom line go is a, what we call the trigger line, and it goes to a pivot point on the bottom of the, the bungee ramp. So that's a pivot point. So what will happen is that will actually do that, and the trigger line comes off. So if we put it back on again, then we've actually got the line to the model which is here, and that carries no tension until the trigger is released. Now the trigger line goes back underneath the um, bungee uh, ramp. And let's go back and we can show you the, uh, the, bun the trigger is basically simple, two pieces of plywood, with a just a door hinge then there's just a, a nail comes up through ground the point off of course and then that just sits over that so it holds the it holds that what is basically a, a padlock hinge you know it's, it's 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 just a bit that you put on a door to uh, put a padlock through to, so that holds that and when you release that when you release this line then that falls through forward the tension pulls that off and then the tension transfers to actually to the model line and drags the model and with that system with that system I've actually, with a pitot tube and no thrust from, from any EDF or prop jet, I've actually had 113 kilometres an hour recorded off the end of the ramps on a 64 millimeter uh, T45 that's been uh, launched off there. The bungee uh, itself at 28 paces gives me about a six kilo pull and six kilos the model on there now is 1100 grams so that's more than enough pull to get her she will fly as she leaves those rails so uh, six kilo is the average I use on most models so that's it that's how it works very easy the end of the uh, bungee is, um, this is where safety is paramount. So, you've got the doubled up bungee comes, comes in, and then it's to a centre stake, right? So a centre stake, and then what, what we do is, one centre stake and then it the securing line goes through and we put one stake here and one stake here so we've got a three point anchor and that I put 25 kilos on that even in soft ground and it's held I do not agree with a single stake because at six kilos, I had to use a single stake in one place, and believe me, that single stake came out at six kilos and hit me in the back, and that hurt. So uh, I'll never do that again. I always use three. One, two, 
three, three stakes and 25 kilos has, has been held on uh, against it. I've tested it with a tension meter to make sure. And that's it. So, uh, yeah, excellent.